Sometimes the customer may be playing a little game, holding out to get a better price. So what do you do? Well, first, you need to plan a walk-away price point. And during your negotiations, when you reach this point, invite the other party to carefully consider everything you've presented. Second, then, express your appreciation for the opportunity to work together. And three, make sure you keep the door open as you walk away from the sale. Because in most cases, you can't make a sale with too little or no margin of profit. Dr. Arroyo, I've done everything I can to put together a solution to meet your needs. However, it looks like we're at a standstill for now. I feel like we should take some time off, think about this, although it appears to me that this is not going to work. I'm sorry. Well, I, I think you might be right, but... And I thought he was bluffing, playing games. Would you agree with me? I know she was working hard on this deal. I hate playing games, but it just might help me win this thing. I'm trying to get the best deal I can. There's nothing wrong with that. She's just stalling to get the contract signed. I know she has a good system and she's with a good company. But come on, I didn't just fall off the turnip truck. Price penetrates everything you do. Walking away from a sale is a major position in negotiating. However, without that walk away attitude, we try to win at all costs and that often ends in disappointment. When you are willing to walk away, that becomes your attitude, your guide. You don't even need to say it. The other side can feel that attitude early on, and that radically changes your negotiations. Did I blow it? I don't think so. But no one likes to walk away from a sale. I know that if you use it as manipulation, it always backfires, and the customer can feel that. You must mean it when you walk away, and sometimes it is the best alternative.